you want to try to get all the wide receiver ones in your team. At least I think that's somebody's strategy. And one of those wide receiver ones are Calvin Benjamin. The Bills are ugly. I know that. I, I realize it. But they're not going to score zero points every game. Whether it's Josh Allen or Nathan Peterman behind center on opening night, they're not going to score zero points. And they're not going to score zero points weeks one through 16. So when they score, who's going to score the ball? Maybe it's LaShawn McCoy if he's out there, sure. But you probably want a big wide receiver. That's the quarterback can just throw it up to, and he can body him out and just catch a touchdown. How about a guy that scored 10 touchdowns his rookie year, that came back from a torn ACL last year and played pretty well when the, he had the opportunity? How about Kelvin Benjamin, the number one wide receiver in Buffalo? Yeah, there are going to be question marks with the quarter, uh, the quarterback there, absolutely. But whether it's Josh Allen, whether it's Nathan Peterman, A.J. McCarron, Kelvin Benjamin is going to be the top target for this team. Yes, they went out and traded for Corey Coleman, but he has to get acclimated into this offense. We saw last year a trade go down late in training camp. Sammy Watkins went to the Rams. And you can argue that he's more talented than Corey Coleman. He couldn't even pick up that team's offense. So Corey Coleman, it's going to take a little bit of time uh, there in Buffalo. Kelvin Benjamin, this is a volume play. Again, he's being drafted outside the top 40 at the wide receiver position this year, Greg. And he's going to see at least 120 targets this year. Last year, of all the wide receivers with at least 130 targets, Des Bryant was the lowest player to finish at wide receiver 24. So you're talking just based on volume that Kelvin Benjamin can be probably like a top 30 wide receiver going outside the top 40 once again. So I just think, you know, seven, eight targets a game. He has that touchdown potential. He's looked pretty good in the preseason so far as well. Uh, For what it's worth, Josh Allen has too. So those guys start to click based on volume. I think Kelvin Benjamin is a steal right now outside the top 40 wide receivers.